Moving on to application control, I'm going to go in and take a look at the base policy. This can be used to monitor and manage the applications that all users have access to. You can build and tailor a list of applications that you want to control and choose whether to allow or block the applications for each user or computer based policy. Allowing controlled applications is useful when you first start implementing application control as it gives you the ability to see what is being used. You can do some further research into this using scheduled and on-demand scans which will help you to understand what impact blocking a certain application will have. When defining the controlled list, you have the option to choose individual applications or select an entire category. For example, to boost productivity, you might decide to block all gaming apps. And to save time, there is an option available to block any new applications that are added to a category in the future. There are many applications available to choose from. However, if there are any applications missing that you would like to control, you, you can request to have them added by Sophos using this link. One of the main benefits of application control is that it allows you to prevent endpoints from running any outdated vulnerable software. For example, previous versions of web browser applications could be vulnerable to new exploits and may pose a significant security threat. With application control, you could disable anything that is not up to date and secure. In this particular policy, I've decided to block remote desktop connections, so I'm just going to demonstrate that taking effect.